Hi, welcome back. So today we are going to look at how we can append data in ArcGIS Pro and the append tool, ideally what it does, it updates an existing targets dataset with multiple input datasets. The datasets can be feature class, they can be tables, they can be shape files, rasters or annotation or dimension feature classes that you want to actually use as your input datasets. So we do this in very simple steps by clicking on the analysis tab, we click on tools. Once we click on tools, we search for append and click enter. So the append tool is under data management and our input dataset is agent list two. So we have an agent's data that we want to update. We did have a list before and now we have more information that we want to add on top of the existing data set. So our target data set is the agent list, which is the existing feature layer that we do have right here posted on ArcGIS Online. And we have field matching type options. So one is input fields must match. Then we have an option of using field map to reconcile field differences in events in the event that we do have discrepancies in our data. So we select that option for field mapping. Then we see that we actually have a warning here. Then we select the equivalent field in the other layer that we're working with and click OK. Enable undo in case you do need to make changes after you've already run the tool. Then once you're done, you can click run to have your fields or your data updated. So let's give it a few minutes, then we'll check the number of records. Initially, we did have 49 records in our target table and we'll see We'll just have a look and appreciate the attribute table once the tool runs. So I'll just expand the attribute table for the agent list. As you can see down here, it's telling us we have 49 records. So once the tool runs, then we'll have additional entries on top of our data set. So once the tool has run, we'll be able to look at our attribute table and see the new records that have just been added. So we'll go ahead and expand our attribute table. And you can see that right now we have 256 records. So initially we did have 49 records in our table and now we have 256 records that are listed within our data set. Thanks for watching.